two kids? I well, figure a man like Ed Foley would... He gets in a temper and he ain't himself. He wasn't in no temper when he went up the stairs. Look it up something fierce, but... I told that woman ten hours back trouble was in store. How'd you know? It's my business to know. I've seen it three different ways. In the cards, in the crystal ball, and in the palm of her hand. She was setting up to my table just after breakfast this morning, just as big as life. Marshal! Have you seen Homer Foley? Colonel Chopin Kinlan. You tell him his pa wants him. His pa wants You mean, it was Homer's pa? Well, we don't know for sure, but it looks like it. You mean, you mean he, that lady? We'll know more after a bit. Now, you go on and fetch him. Jody, be as gentle as you can. They're wrong. Tom Sellers told me himself. Then Tom Sellers is wrong. He said they don't know for sure. They only think it's him. It ain't him. My pa wouldn't do a thing like that. Homer! Yes, Ma? How about that geography homework? Be indirectly. You gonna tell her? I want to talk to him first. What you reckon he was doing at the silver loan? He and Ma had a ruckus tonight. Pa's got a temper. Seems like he's got to blow off twice a year or so. Tonight was his night. Homer? Go on in, Abby. What you doing? Talking. I'm cooking up something, I bet. Abby, will you go on in? What about Pa? Where'd he go, Homer? Downtown. You gonna fetch him? You don't fetch him, maybe he'll stay out all night. Will you leave us all alone, Abby? I know. You're fixing to run off with Jody. I'm gonna tell Mom. You tell Ma and I'll tell who busted the cream pitcher this morning. You get on inside and keep your trap shut. Now. Come on. You ain't helping us any, Charlie. Why do you make me say it over and over? I'll make you say it 20 times if I have a mind to. Now, you didn't feel good. You were asleep in your room at the end of the hall upstairs, then what? I wasn't sleeping. All right, you were resting. And I heard this ruckus down the hall, and I got up to see what it was. Come from Juliet Harrigan's room. By the time I got there, they'd quieted down. Who? Sounded like Juliet and some fella. Well, I knocked on the door, there was no answer. I finally opened the door. Hold it. Pa? Pa? Homer. I want to talk to you. What is it, Pa? What happened? I'm... I'm in kind of a fix, Homer. But don't you worry now. We'll get it straightened out. It's gonna be all right. I want you to... Stand by your mother and kind of be the head of the house while I'm gone. It may take a little while, but... Don't you fret now, because it's going to be all right. I've known each other for better than 10 years now. A couple of fellas stay partners that long. They, they get to know each other pretty well. Homer, if someone come up to you and told you I'd done a thing like this, you'd know it wasn't true, wouldn't you? I wouldn't have to tell you. You didn't do it, Pa. I made a mistake, Homer. I made a bad mistake. Your Ma and I had a ruckus and I kind of lost my head. I got a way of doing things like that. But believe this, Homer. Believe this. I didn't kill that girl. I didn't touch her. I didn't fight with her. I didn't kill that girl. I'm a woman, too. 
tell her. She'll cry, sure. I hate it when she cries. Won't do no good to tell her he didn't do it. She'll cry anyhow. And then Abby will come a running downstairs and set up a howl because Ma's crying. And then with both of them crying, I'll likely cry too. It'll be fierce. You wouldn't like to tell him, would you? Nope. You didn't expect you would. What do they do when they put a man on trial? Mm, they get a judge and some lawyers and a jury and everybody else together. And somebody finds a Bible and everybody swears to tell the truth. Half of them do and half of them don't. And it's up to the jury to tell which is which. You reckon they'll put Paul on trial? He's in jail, ain't he? Does that mean they're gonna try him? Sure, as soon as they get him down to the county seat. It ain't fair. Why not? He never done it. You heard him say it. Yeah, Homer, but... He said he never done it. He never done it. Pa's have to do some crazy things now and then, but he don't tell lies. Not ever. Want to get my key, Jody? Yes, sir. Mr. Hampton. I know what you're going to say, Sonny. I'll say it anyhow. You ain't telling the truth, Mr. Hampton. My pa didn't kill that lady. I never said he did. I only told him what I saw. You never saw no such thing. Homer. You're lying, Mr. Hampton. You're lying to get my pa sent off to the county seat and put on trial or maybe hung. Shut up. The law says I gotta tell him what I saw, whether I like it or not. That's what I did. Come on, Judy. Better go tell your mom. Thanks, Judy. Welcome. I, uh... I feel sorry for Homer. You sorry for his pa, too? Of course. Oh? Uh -huh. Night, Judy. Night. Bar open? Sure. I gotta hold him in jail. There's nothing else I can do. Well, I can't help thinking about poor Martha. And Homer and Abby. Well, they should have thought about them before he went down there. I can't believe he did it. All right, what about Charlie Hampton? Hardware drummer, first class reputation, steady. I mean, every summer for four years, you think he could do it? No. Well, one of them did it. Only three people on the second floor and two of them left. Charlie says that he heard the commotion. He ran down the hall and found the girl's body. Ed was passed out on the floor. Ed claims he doesn't even remember going into the room. One of them's lying. Mr. Hampton? No. I got six bed whiskey if you want to pay for it, Mr. Hampton. This is plenty good enough, Martha. Now go down to the end of the bar and mind your own business. Oh, yes, sure. I'm sorry, Mr. Hampton. You want anything else? You just holler, yeah? Somebody invents a way of reading a man's mind. We'll save ourselves all kinds of money for trials. All we need right now is a first class. Crystal ball. See a doggone thing. Naturally, you ain't got the power. How do you get it? Born with it, I guess. Here, have a piece of fried chicken. No, thanks. First boy I ever seen turn down fried chicken. Leonardo, won't you please quit eating fried chicken and listen to me? Jody, I told you, ain't nobody can read a man's mind. You could bring Homer's paw and Charlie Hampton and set them right down here at this table. I couldn't tell you what they was thinking. Nobody can. 
good Lord made a man's thoughts his own business. It's a mighty good thing he did, too. Ain't a man and woman in this world that could stay married if they could read each other's mind. We'd be in a pretty fix then. Where'd the young'uns come from? Race is die out. Now go on, have a piece of chicken. I ain't hungry. Seems to me last year you had a sign about mind reading. Well, my conscience got to eating away at me, so I took it down. I can't read minds any more than you do. But hexes and charms and horoscopes, well, now that's another thing. That I can do. But I can't read minds. You think Homer's pa did it? It's hard to say. Can you look in this and... No, no, this is a special tool for special work. Looking in that to find out about Homer's paw would be like spading up a tater patch with a manure fork. The marshal said they could use a crystal ball. The marshal ain't up on his fortune-telling tools. Leonardo, there must be something you can do. Homer's paw's in a terrible fix. They're gonna take him down to the county seat and... Hold on now. You just quieten down and let me think. Here, have a piece of fried chicken. I'm going to suspend myself for a spell. Got it. Work. Look. Collar button. It is good enough. Well, were you sure to pause? Will it work? Sort of little, but I guess the size ammo counts. Come on. Hello, Mr. Diefenbach. Miss Rosalie. Hi. Jody, uh... I know we ain't supposed to be in here, Mr. Diefenbach. We... We just wonder if you'll help us out. We need something. Your pa's the one who... Yeah. You're a pretty brave little fella. Gonna have to learn to stand on your own two feet now. Take things as they come. It might get pretty tough. He didn't do it. And um, what do you want, Jody? We we gotta have something belonging to Miss Juliet. What do you mean? Something she carried around all the time. Like a handkerchief or a comb. But that red stuff she put on her mouth. Or maybe a pocket knife. Well, what you want that for? It's a kind of special. I don't know as we can tell you. Jody, you better run along. We oh, can't... Oh, wait, Mac. Let me look. Homer, uh, I wish I could tell you how sorry I am about your pa. He didn't do it, Mr. Diefenbach. Sure wish you were right. You, um, uh, like a sarsaparilla on the house? We're in kind of a hurry, Mr. Diefenbach. How's this? Thanks, Miss Rosalie. Hmm. Ephus, Iphus, Carolinas. Love is plus and hate is minus. Things is going bad to worse. Is you minus? Is you plus? Is you plus or is you minus? Ephus, Iphus, Carolinas. You sure this thing's just blown to Charlie Hampton? I'm just swiped it out of his room. You getting anything? Can't exactly say. There's resistance there between the shoe and the handkerchief, but I can't rightly say it's hate. Feel something? No. You get a good strong hate run, it's just like cutting a piece of soft cheese. Trouble is, neither Homer's paw nor Charlie hated this girl. Now, fit of temper and hate's two different things. You felt something, you said. Resistance. Well, they is. No doubt about it. There's resistance there. But not enough to stand up in court. You can tell them that anyway, can't you, Leonardo? You can tell them that there's no hate? Took my pawn the lady? That'll help some, maybe. There's nobody else to stand up for him. They'll all tell about what a terrible temper he has. And everything now, else. don't go blubbering, Homer. Don't give up yet. You ain't licked yet. There's one thing you can do. What? 
Ask Miss Juliet who done it. If she tells you, you can swear to it in court. Miss Juliet. Miss Juliet? She. She was buried this afternoon. We'll have to rise her up. No other way. Rise her up? Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah? What? Got a piece of real luck. Full moon tonight. Can't do it no other time. Midnight tonight. All right. What's this about Leonardo? I just as soon not say more. Well, I just as soon you did. What's that big fraud got you up to anyway? He ain't a fraud, Ma. The marshal said he could use a crystal ball, so I'm with Leonardo. What's a crystal ball got to do with this? It belonged to Miss Juliet. Leonardo had to see if there was any heat twixt the slipper and the handkerchief. A handkerchief? Mr. Hampton's. Where did you get... Jody. I had to have it, Ma. I just had to. I was gonna put it back. Look, I know you did this for Homer. I know his pa's in a terrible fix, but there isn't much we can do about it. You think he did it too? Well, I don't know. Tom Sellers has a pretty good reason for thinking he did it. That's trouble with grown folks. They always got reasons. They'll take him down to the county seat and everybody will tell all the reasons why he did it. Nobody will just plain stand up and say he never done it, just because Homer's pa wouldn't do such an awful thing. He told Homer, Ma. He put his arms around him and told him he didn't do it. I was right there and I heard him. And you believed him, didn't you? Of course I did. Homer's pa don't tell lies. Well, Jody, you've got so much to learn. About Homer's pa? About everyone. I'd better tell you what Leonardo said. Now, I don't want to hear any more about Leonardo. He tells lies for a living. But, Ma. Now, I mean it. I'm going to take this handkerchief and put it back in Mr. Hampton's room. And climb into bed as fast as you can. If I ever catch you with that pass key again, you'd just better have an awful good reason. Yes, sir. Good night. Good night, Ma. She a dandy? She killed her by moonlight, like Leonardo said. Cobwebs from the hood owl nest. We can stop in the creek and get some hot toads. Only one thing more there. Rope. we need. Take it all. Gotta go clean around the grave. <laughs> Hurry up, Homer. We ain't got much time. Something strange about that man, Mr. Sellers. Well, he's got a reason to drink, Martha. He was in love with her. He is more than drunk. Charlie, Charlie, why'd you do it? Why? Because I was tired of him. Because I told you to go. I think he killed that woman, and now she haunts him. <laughs> Woman's intuition. Tom, come here.
scared. I'd as soon be home in bed. What are we going to ask her? What are we supposed to say? How are you getting along down there? Up there. I better let you do the talking. What time is it? Five two. What's the book say about the rope? On a night when the moon is full, drive stakes at the four corner of the grave. Hurry up. Then throw a loop of the hangman's rope around each, completely surrounding the grave. serpent aloft. Then facing the full moon, whirl him three times counterclockwise. Then lay him atop the grave with his head pointing east. Where's east? That way. Liberate the toads. Then, anoint the hands. What's anoint? Rub, like they do in the Bible. With the powder made of cobwebs from the hoodow nest. Then, at the stroke of midnight, we know the rest. Ready? Yeah. Hex, Mex, Mayor Mex, Peter Pompex. Hex, Mex, Mayor Mex, Peter Pompex. Hex, Mex, Mayor Mex, Peter Pompex. Hex, Max, Mayor Max, Peter, Palm Pex. Juliet. Talk to me, Juliet. Talk to me. Juliet. Juliet, I I'm sorry. I, I lost my head. Forgive me, Julius. He sees her. Where? Jolie, what are you... I didn't want to kill you. I lost my head. Talk to me, Julian. Don't look at me that way. Tell me. Tell me you forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. <laughs> We raised her up, but we can't see her. It's all right, honey. <laughs> he can. 